Hey everyone, it is TK Friday. On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, we're going to be looking at the art of color grading using the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. Thank you so much for joining me on another TK Friday. Today it's going to be something a little bit different. I'm calling this episode The Art of Color Grading. Now, color grading is a really wonderful thing that you can do with images. You know, you can change the mood of an image, you know, give it a more warm look, a more inviting look, or a colder look, maybe a more sinister look. And you see color grading all the time when you're watching movies. You know, they use color grading to create a mood and an atmosphere. So it's really cool. And I don't really have PDF notes for you today because this is basically an artistic expression. So I'm going to show you some techniques today, how we can do some color grading. But I want to leave it up to you to go ahead and color grade the way you feel. You know, just be loose and free. And if you want to add a certain mood to your image, go ahead and do it. But experiment. But I'll give you some basics here so you'll understand how you can use the TK8 plugin for Photoshop to help you with color grading. By the way, if you don't yet own the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, just click on my affiliate link. It's found right below in the description. Click on that link. It'll take you right to the TK web store where you can purchase the TK8 plugin for Photoshop and training videos. And when you use my promo code DK15, you'll save 15% off your entire purchase. When you do that, you're also supporting the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. All right, then it's time to have some fun with color grading. Now I have four different examples for you today. I'll leave these images as a download link. They're all stock images. You can download them if you want to try it on these images or try it on your own images. That's totally up to you. But I'll show you how we can get started in color grading. There's many different ways of doing it, and this is just one way of doing it. Actually, I'll show you a couple of different things you can do. One is with uh, the solid color adjustment layer and also with the color grading tool found in the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. And sometimes we can even combine both of those techniques together. But you'll see. Let's get started. Now this image is on the cold side of things. You know there's a lot of uh, gray and blue in here. But what if we want to warm it up and make it more inviting? Well let's see what we can do here. I'm going to start off by coming up to the luminosity mask panel. I'm going to start with midtones. And, you know, we can work with midtones one. If we want a stronger effect, we can go to midtones two, or a super strong effect in the midtones, we can go to midtones three. Let's try midtones two and see what we can do. So now that we selected midtones two, we can go ahead and output this. Now, if you come right here, this is a little hamburger menu button. If you click it, you can get to different adjustment layers and the solid color adjustment layer which we'll be using a lot of today is right here so click on that and when you do this color picker comes up now this color picker here you could pick a color like in her face is some warm tones so i could click right here and click ok but you can also see this bar right here i'm set up with the hue mode right here see where the h is here and you have this hue slider here, so you could slide up through different hues, okay? But here's a warm hue right in here. And then you could take, I call this a puck, and you could move it around. And let's, uh, let's move it way up into here and give it a nice bit of that saturation. But let's warm it up even a little bit more, maybe somewhere right around there, and click OK. But remember, you have the color picker tool. If I wanted to pick the color of her lips, I could click it, or what, whatever color you want. But I'm going to use this warm color. I'm going to click OK. Now watch what happens to the image. See that warm tone goes over the image. Now what you can do, and that looks a little more on the yellow side. So here's what I really like about the solid color adjustment layer. If you double click it, OK, so now we could come, and this works in real time. I can adjust this hue slider. You see that? And I can go through the whole range of hues. OK, so there's that cold, more sinister look. You know, there's a warmer look, more reds, but I like this look down in here. So I can adjust this just to I get it where I like it. And I think somewhere right around there. Now, if it's too saturated, you could drag this puck to the left, you see, and give it less saturation or more saturation. But this is what I mean by experimenting. You do what you want. You do you, as they say. 
So I'm going to do me and I'm going to warm this up to right about here and click OK. Now we're off to a good start, but we're not done yet. OK, so here's the before and here's the after. But what if I want to protect it from the person because her face has gotten a lot warmer and I don't really like that. So let's go ahead and put this in a group. So come up to the TK8 Converse AX panel, and this is your group button right here. If you click to the left of it, you'll put it in a black hide all group. If you click to the right, you'll put it in a reveal all group. So I'm going to click it here, and it's got a white mask on it. Now, I don't want it on my subject, so I could come to the Converse AX panel and click on this button and let Photoshop select the subject. And I'm glad I made a mistake here because you notice what it says here. A group layer cannot be the active layer for this function. Do this. Make a non-group layer the active layer before clicking this button. Okay. So I'm going to click on like this layer right here. And now we'll click on select subject. And now it will select our subject. But after our subject is selected and it's selected right now, you'll notice that we're on the solid color. And Photoshop calls it a fill, color fill. But it's a solid color adjustment layer. I want it on the group, so let's make the group active. You can see the marching ants showing us we have a selection. We also have our selection indicator on the multi mask panel and the combo panel, the colored indicator going around here showing us we have a selection. But let's come up here to My Channels, click that button, and click on the active selection. And you can see there's our subject that is selected. But I want the opposite of the subject because remember, I want to work on the background. Right now, the background would not get the adjustment, only the subject. So I need to invert it. But there's an invert button right here. So click this and now we have the background selected. And now all we need to do is output it and put it on that group and just click this button right here. It'll send it. It'll send the mask right to the layer that you have active. So click it. And now you can see here's the before and here's the after. I only have the color grading on the background. Now let me show you something. Let me click on the uh, solid color layer. And notice it's in the soft light blend mode. Now the TK8 multi mask panel, remember when I used that hamburger menu and pick solid color, the TK multi mask panel sets us up for the soft light blend mode, which is great for color grading. It's one of the modes that we really get a lot of benefit out of because what the soft light blend mode does is it adds contrast to the image. Not only does it let color show through, but it also adds a bit of contrast. When you want to add contrast, that is a good blend mode. Now take a note here up at the combo panel. The CX panel will look a little different. There's a combo and a CX panel. You could use one or the other. They both have the identical buttons. They just look different. What I want you to notice is C and blue here. These are blend modes. Here's the soft light blend mode. Great for color grading. The color blend mode the overlay, and linear light. These are all really good color grading blend modes right here. But let's see what, right now we're on soft light. If we click color, we can see what the color blend mode does. Now the color blend mode just adds the color without affecting contrast. And then we have the overlay blend mode. It's adding contrast as well, but a lot stronger than the soft light blend mode. So let me click it and you'll see. So here's soft light and here's overlay. So it's a little stronger effect. and a lot more contrast. And then we have the linear light blend mode. Now this is an interesting one. I'm going to click it. And you'll notice right now, this one, the TK8 multi mask panel sets you up with a fill of 15%, which is ideal because if this is set up to 100%, it's going to look really crazy, right? So 15% is always a good starting point. Now, if you want a stronger effect here, you can move this to the right and it'll get stronger and stronger. Okay. But in our case, I want to use the soft light blend mode. But you may not want to use the soft light blend mode. You may want to use overlay. You may want to use linear light or color. It's totally up to you because, again, you're the artist here and you make the choice. But it is great to experiment, and that's where these buttons come in. And here's another handy button, this layer mask mode button. So if you click it, you could sample out different masks on here. So you may say, what does that Midtones 3 look like on here? So if I click it, you can see the effect is much stronger. Or you might say, what's a lights one look like? Well, it looks like that. Or what's a darks one look like? A darks four. So you can experiment around. But in my case, I think I'm going to go with mids two. I'm going to X out of layer mask mode. Now I'm going to click on the top group here and collapse it. And the reason for that is if I leave this group open 
and add another adjustment layer, it'll put it inside the group. And I don't want that because I may want to affect the entire image on this next adjustment, which I do. So that's why I collapsed it. Now I want to work on the overall highlights only of the entire image. So let's come up to the luminosity mask button and click it. And we're on lights one and that's exactly what I want. So let's come to the hamburger menu and I'll put it to a solid color fill layer again. And now I'm going to sample her flesh tone here. So I'm going to click right there, but I want to increase the saturation and maybe I'll lighten it a little bit, maybe right up in here. Remember, this will add some contrast as well in the soft light blend mode and I'll click OK. Now that's a really strong effect as you can see, but what we can do is double click right here and what we can do is take this puck and start to move it around and see how I can change that. I just want to put a wash of that warm color over the entire image and click OK. Let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. And it's also increased the color grading in the highlight areas in the background as well. And I think it really helps the flesh tones as well on the image. But remember, you can experiment. Let's see what it looks like in the color blend mode. We can see what it looks like in overlay. It's a stronger effect or linear light. There are other blend modes that you can mess around with, but that's not for this tutorial. I'm mainly dealing with soft light today but right there, and I like it again before and after. And then the only other thing I may want to do is, hey, let's come to TK Actions and let's put a vignette on this. I'm just going to click OK here and reduce the opacity a little bit because I think a little bit of a vignette on here looks great. Here's the before and here's the after. Now we started out, I'll use my before after action. We started out looking like this. And now with the magic of color grading and the TK plugin for Photoshop, we look like this. Now, if you want to, you can take, come to the first group here and then come to the color fill right here. Hold your shift key down, select both of those. You can put these in a white group and now you can control the overall color grade with the opacity, take it down and maybe just down as much as you want. Cause you felt the effect was too strong and then you're affecting everything with inside that group, you see? So here's the before and here's the after. Now let's move on to another image. This is a pretty nice image of a mountain, but I think I can improve it with color grading. So what I'm gonna do is come to Luminosity Masks and I've experimented, so I'm gonna go a little bit quicker because I tried mids one, two, and three. I'm gonna work on the midtones first. So I'm gonna do a midtones one, and what I want to do is add a bit of a warm tone to the midtones. So we're going to come to the hamburger menu and click it and click on the solid color adjustment layer. Remember, it puts it in a soft light blend mode. Again, you could pick a color from the image here if you want to, or you could just go and drag this hue slider up and down, move this puck around, whatever you want. I'm just going to, it's already on a warm tone. I'm just going to make it a little stronger saturation. This probably won't be what I'll use, but I'm going to start here. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, there's that warm tone. And that's not a bad tone. It's over the entire image. Here's the before and here's the after. I don't like what's happening to the sky. I might change this tone, but let's work on that sky first. Let's get that color grading out of the sky, and then we'll come back and readjust the color grade. So what I did last time, remember, I went to the group button right here and put it in a white reveal all group. And now remember, I want to select the sky, but I can't select the sky if I'm on a group layer. So I'm going to click on this solid color fill layer and then click on this button to select the sky. Photoshop will select the sky for us. Now we can go to the My Channels button, click it and click on Active Selection. Now I don't want the sky affected, but right now the sky is the only thing getting affected. So I need to invert it. So click the Invert button and then click this button to apply it to this group right here. Now, right now I'm not on the group. I have to click the group to make sure I'm on it or else that won't go there. So that's important and click this button right here. And now we can see there we are right on that group and the sky is protected. So take a look, here's the before and here's the after. Now let's double click the solid color adjustment layer. You have to be on the actual icon here. And now we can play around here. Let's work with the hue. We can change the hue around. See, we can put purple in there, whatever we want, green, but I want warm tones and I'm going to try right about here and let's go like this. Okay. And that's, that's looking pretty good. 
click OK. Now remember, I right now we're in the soft light blend mode by default. That's what the TK8 plugin for Photoshop sets us at. But let's try overlay. It's a stronger effect. You see that? It's giving me a much stronger effect. I think what I'll do is take the opacity of that layer and start to drag it back to maybe right around 73%. Here is the before and here is the after. So I like that, but I'm not done. I want to work in this grass. It's a little bit too warm. So what I'm going to do is collapse this layer because I want to put a solid color adjustment layer above here. Now to select this grassy area, it's going to be really easy to use a color mask. So click on this button right here and let's sample some of the color in here. Click right here and click OK. And as you can see, I'm getting a really nice selection. I'm getting some of the mountain up in here, so I can narrow this color by dragging the top slider into the right. And so I can pull that mountain away from there. And then I can lighten up the overall adjustment like this. And there's some areas back in here, you see. I could grab a black brush, a nice big brush here, and just paint that stuff off. But right now, you notice my opacity is at 5%. I'm going to type my zero key. I'm wondering why the heck is that not coming off? Okay. I'm just going to paint some of this stuff off in here. Just like that. I think we're going to be pretty good. And now let's go to the hamburger menu. And we're going to output this to a solid color adjustment layer. Now we can pick some of these greens in here like that. Let's click OK. That's not the color I want, by the way. I want to go a lot greener there, but I have a nice selection. So let's double click this and we can drag this hue slider up through here. And you see, see how it's affecting that grass and only the grass. So let's find a color that looks pretty nice for the grass. Let's try that right there, but let's give it a lot more saturation and brighten it up. You see that? How we can just really play with it. And this works in real time. Like I said, you can just move this around and stop at a point that you kind of like. And I think I kind of like that right there. Let's click OK. Here is the before and here's the after. Isn't that nice how that does that? Now, I think I want to add a little bit of blue to the sky. This time I'll start with a sky selection. So let's click on this button to select the sky. And now let's come up here to My Channels, click the Active Selection. Now we can use a mass calculator because what I want to do is use a midtones again. So what we can do is click on the mass calculator button. We can do an X for intersect, X out of here, and come back to luminosity masks. Here's mids one, mids two, and mids three. I think I like mids three. So I'm going to go ahead and click equals and make that calculation. And you see, I have the mids three selected in the sky. Let's come to the hamburger menu and I'll put it to a solid color layer. Now I want blue. I'm just going to go ahead and drag my hue slider up into blues. It doesn't really matter because I'll readjust and click OK. And now let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. And that's a mids three. Now again, you could come up here and go into layer mask mode and sample some other things out. But bear that in mind. This is what I want. So I don't have to do that. I've already done that experimentation, but maybe you haven't. In fact, you haven't because you haven't done this yet. So experiment and see how the different uh, mids work and even try lights and try different things, whatever you like, because remember, you're the artist here. But let me double click on the solid color adjustment layer and let's drag the hue slider. And let's see, what do I want? Maybe something like that. Let's give it some more saturation. That's like too much. But you see how you can just drag it around and I don't know, maybe something like that. And let's play with the hue a little bit more. I think I like that. Maybe right there and click OK. Let's take a look. Here's the before. And here's the after. Now, again, if it's too strong, we could come here and take this opacity and just pull it back a little bit to maybe there. So here's the before and here's the after. Now we can come back and retweak anything we want. We can open this group up if we want. And remember, we can put all of these layers. I'm going to click on the bottom group, hold the shift key down and click on the top layer. Let's put this all inside of a group. And now we can see here's our color grading. Here's our before and here's our after. And I like it. 
And if we feel our overall effect is too strong, we can take this opacity and maybe just pull it back just a little bit to maybe, let's try like 83%. Here's the before and here's the after. But what the heck? Let's live dangerously. I'm going to take it up to 100%. Here's before and here's after. I like it. Let's move on to the next image. We have two more to go. This is an interesting image. And this particular person on, I believe it was unsplash.com, they have a color grading technique. And a lot of their images look like this. I like the image, but I thought, I want the greens more green. And this mountain up in here. I think I can add a little bit more blue into the mountain. I'm going to combine solid color with the color grading tool on this one. Let's start out by changing the green color here. So a color mask will be perfect for that. So click on your color mask button and let's choose one of these color tones down here in the grass, maybe right around this area and click OK. And yeah, we're getting a pretty good selection there. We can lighten it up. Let's lighten it up and see what we get here. We can lighten it up a good bit, maybe something like that. We can even come to the levels adjustment here and drag this to the left, the highlight slider to the left and get a little stronger effect just like that. Now there's some area up here. This is probably some green up in here, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna gra grab my black brush and just paint that off just like that. And now let's go ahead to the hamburger menu and I'll put this to a solid color adjustment layer. Now it's in the um, soft light blend mode. And so let's select some of the green in here. Let's click OK. Again, we're going to readjust it later, but here's the before and here's the after. Now let's double click the solid color adjustment layer because I always like to do that. Let's give it some more color, like right about there. Let's play with the hue a little bit and see if we can find a hue that we like. Uh, maybe right around there. Let's play with this and probably too much saturation. I don't know. Let's, we can always come back. Let's, let's try this for now. Click OK. Let's try a different blend mode. Let's try linear light. Okay, here's soft light. Here's linear light. But remember with linear light, it is one of those blend modes that work with fill. It's a special blend mode. So let's take the fill and move it to the right. Yeah, you see that? It, it gets much stronger. Now that's probably too strong. Let's try that right there. Now let's come back and tweak. I double click the solid color. Let's come and play with this and find a tone that we like. Too much saturation. Maybe right there looks pretty good. I'm going to click OK. Here is the before and here's the after. Now if it's too strong, we can take the overall opacity and just pull back a little bit on it. Maybe to about like 88% I think looks pretty good. Here's the before and here's the after. And again, experiment. You, again, do you. You do what you want to this image. You can make that grass purple. You can do anything that you want. And now let's work on this distant mountain. And I'll use the color grading tool. So let's click on this button. You find it in the TK8 multi mask panel. Click on this button. You must click the plus here to add it. And I just want to work on the midtone. So let's click on the midtone block. And what we'll do is let's make them a little more blue. You see that? Just throw a little bit of a blue tint in there. And then let's maybe just darken up those midtones a little bit. It's going to darken the midtones in the entire image. Okay. Now that may be too blue. So we can drag this up maybe to right about here. Let's take, take a look. Here's the before. And here's the after. Now, nobody says you can't combine different color grading techniques. Use the color grading tool. Use solid color adjustment layers. You can use gradient maps. There's all kind of things that you can do. Let's put these color grading layers in a group. So I have the top layer selected. Hold the shift key down. Click on the color fill layer or the solid color layer. Let's put it in a white group. Now we could take a look. Here's our overall before and here's our overall after. And then we could take the opacity and ease it off a little bit if it's too strong, whatever we think we like. And I think 89%. Here's the before and here's the after. Now let's move on to our final image. This image is already interesting. It's not in the best focus in my opinion, but I kind of like the bokeh in the background. It's kind of uh, very artistic to begin with, but let's work with just the 
TK8 color grading tool in this one because it's unique in a way because in the soft light blend mode you can't affect solid whites or solid blacks but with the TK8 color grading tool you can affect solid white and solid black which is really a great aspect or feature of that tool plus it's quick and easy to use if and it works with a curves adjustment layer and if you've ever worked with curves adjustment layer for color grading it can be a little bit challenging but this takes all of the guesswork out of it. So let's go to the color grading tool, click on it, click the plus to apply it to the layer. Let's start out with the midtone. So click on the midtone block and check this out. I'm just going to make the midtones a little more blue. Now, when I drag this, you don't see anything happening here until you actually release it. So I'm gonna come way into the blue range here. You could go pink, whatever you want. See, that's really pretty as well but experiment, come up into reds and see what you get. But when I was working on this, I kind of liked what I was getting when I was in the blue area. Maybe something like that looks pretty good. Uh, you also have the luminance slider, so we can darken up those midtones if we want to, or just leave it right where it is. You have two things you can do. You can either work with the color grading or the luminosity or both. Now let's go for shadows. So click on the shadow block and let's experiment. Let's make them red, let's make them pink. And it gets stronger as you go to the outer edge and that is kind of nice. I actually kind of like that right there. Originally I was over in blue, but you know what? I like pink or magenta or whatever you want to call it right about there i think that looks good now this area is pretty solid light up here which normally wouldn't take a color grade but if i click on the highlight block and let's see what happens if i move it see how it turns pink it gets a nice pink little tint up in there which kind of brings that whole look together and i like it and remember we have the overall opacity here we can pull this opacity back if we want to, but I like it up full. Remember, you could come back to, say, like shadows, and you may want to darken up the shadows a little bit, just like that, maybe just a tiny wee bit. So don't forget, you can color grade as well as work on the luminosity of the image. But there it is. Oh, and by the way, if you click this block right here with the black, gray, and white, you can see all your color grades right there. So that's kind of nice. You can see what you've done. And then when you go to the blocks, then you can go ahead and retweak whatever you need to do. Well, there it is, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed this episode on color grading with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.